Welcome back to Alma, Missouri, Big T Farms. How's everyone doing today? Hope well. Well, we got these fields limed and prepped. Right now I'm putting canola in the ground in the same field again. Uh, then I'm gonna take the uh, wool down to the spinnery. Uh, sheep pens are getting full. Animals are doing okay. They're uh, producing pretty good. Um, got a trailer load of eggs over there from the chickens. And all the productions are doing really good right now. So, be a good sale day in February for the juice. I'm going to make some pretty good money on that. And then uh, I've got to go prep the grass field, go plow it up, get it ready. I've got to seed grass in there and uh, get that ready to go since I harvested that last. And then, well, I don't know. Maybe move some more productions around. I don't know. We'll see. But, yeah, it's just pretty much planting today and getting things done. Corn's looking good. The beet field's looking good. So, I'll see you guys in a little bit. Well, we went through that fertilizer pretty quick. Yeah, so... I'm gonna head up here and fill up again for the fertilizer. See what we got going on there. Hopefully I got enough left in there. Oh, forgot. Whoa, that could have been really bad. Forgot I parked the truck there. <laughs> Would have been buying me a new trailer. All right, let's back up here. Let's go back over here. Oh, wow. Good thing the tractor's got good brakes on it. Holy smokes. That could have been bad. All right, let's head over here and get us some fertilizer. Oh. Well, we finished the last of our up. Well, that should do it. Conodal is back in the ground. Fold this thing up and get her up to the shop and get her washed up. Cause I gotta get it ready. Well, do I really need to wash it up? Probably not. Cause uh, I gotta put barley over here in this field. So what I need to do now is take it over and uh, get it filled up with seed and uh, get it ready for the next field. All right, we got her all filled up. Let's uh, get her parked next to the field and get it ready. All right, park you right here. You should be all right parked right here. All right, let's shut you down. Uh, let me turn off uh, Superman. So I'm not throwing my Silverado around everywhere. Ugh. Boy. I didn't hit it with... I didn't hit it with the uh, tractor, but boy, I could sure knock her across the map. You know, that's a, uh, it's not completely full. Well, let's drop that right there. I'll take her down when I get it a little, little bit fuller. Yeah. Try not to hit my greenhouse here. Okay. Well, I was gonna take it down to the spinnery, but uh, I think we're all right. I'll just take the old pickup, park it over here. Hmm. I don't know. Go one more month, July. Maybe I can get the uh, barley in the ground. I don't know. Hmm. Yep. I think I'll do that. I'll see you guys. Well, it'll be a few seconds, but I'll see you in a month. Uh, I want to get that barley in the ground. So, hang in there. I'll be right back. Next thing you know it, it'll be July. Listen to me. I said July. Gee, almighty. September. Anyway, September is now time to plant barley. <laughs> and uh, 
I gotta take care of the animals real quick here. So let me uh get the chickens fed and cows fed and I'm gonna check on the sheep. Make sure I didn't have any youngins. And I'll be right with you. Well, I should do her. Let's get this thing folded up, put away. And, uh, I don't know. Probably park the tractor up and winter's coming up, which means there ain't going to be a whole lot to do except maybe sell a couple productions here and there. By the way, I'm going to sneak by and look in the manure box here and see how much I got. Ooh, I need to put some in there. Let's get the tractor put away. Parked over here. We'll get the latch shut off, get her shut down. Close, close her shed door there. Hmm. Let me see here. I'm going to try to figure out this conveyor again, see if it's going to work for me real quick. Hold on. Oh. There we go. Now we got her all figured out. Yep, filling the poo wagon. That's good for the greenhouse. How are my chickens doing over here with eggs? I'm gonna trail a little of them right now. Oh wow. Six pallets already. Holy cow. Oh my gosh, man. How about milk? How are we doing on milk over here? Let's turn on the pumper truck. I'm gonna get us some milk brought in. All right. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna have to maybe grab that. I don't know if I can grab this or not. Might be able to. Yeah, we'll give them some more straw. How's that sound? <laughs> All righty. Back where we go. Alright, that's all it didn't take care of. I'm gonna go down here and check these little cows, these little bulls. I'm gonna see if I got enough food. Be right back with you. Yep, got them. Got them some food. Uh, they'll be doing okay. I got a little bit that tied them over. You know what? I'm gonna fill up this trailer before we uh, park her up. Well, we done. Corn's ready to harvest too. Oh boy, it's gonna get busy real quick on the farm. Oh boy. I got beets and corn. Oh. Oh boy. I've gotta go get another load for the for the little calves. They shouldn't take too much more. Alright, well, we got some more sheep. I'm gonna have to do some moving around on them. I'll tell you the numbers. They just keep multiplying. But that's actually good. Makes me good money.
lot of sheep in there. All right, you're going. Man, there's only one of you. All right, I'll take you out of there. I'll swing this around and go to the other pen. Check that one out. They usually have more male. Oh, oh. They usually have more male sheep over here in the milking pen for some reason. Drive over here and we'll check this out. Hopefully. Try not to hit the sheep milk there. Alright. There we go. Let's go over here and see what they got. Alright. Well, we got one there. And one there. Alright. And it looks like that's it in this one. So three more males in the other pen. All right. Their grass and their water look okay. How about yours over here? Oh yeah, your grass is all right. All right. Put them over here with the other one. Holy smokes, look at the wool. Golly. Man, it's getting busy here on the farm. Oof. I'm... Man, I am so busy right now. We've got two harvests to do. Wow. Put you in there. Uh, move you in there. Move you in there. All right. Yeah, they're all set. Ooh, it's getting a little lighter outside. Good. Oops, look at the tomatoes. Oh my gosh. Yeah, take that down to the ketchup factory down there. Speaking of factories, I haven't been down there to check them in a while. There might be a hee haw total mess down there. Oh, I'm gonna park this right here. Okay, well, whew. I've got a corn harvest and beet harvest. I gotta get with the shop, have them bring that uh, harvester over for me. Um, yeah, and then I also got corn to do too. Holy smoke. All right, I'll be right back. I gotta go talk to some people. Got a hold of them, so I guess uh, they said they're gonna drop it off at the field. So, I'm going to try to get into the truck here. And you're going to park it down there at the bigger field. Well, I got a hold of somebody. And uh, they said they brought her down to the larger field. So, let's head down here to the field and see what they brought me. And then, uh, yeah, I'm going to... Hopefully this will give me enough beets for sugar. This is also in a good enough field. I can plant something else in it. Oh wow, that thing's huge. Hmm. This is gonna be something else right here. All right. Oh, wow. Sounds good. Oh, now that's cool. Let's uh, let's uh, unfold this thing. Yeah, yeah we're gonna get into the field here. Back her up here real quick. Well, I'm gonna keep plugging along, keep harvesting, and uh, I'll get back with you guys in a little bit once I get her. Uh, harvested up and headed to the other field well we're getting the last little bit here uh, tell you what I already got one load already it's 
field did really good down on the bottom side. It was uh, dark green on that bottom side up here. It's not too bad. Like a lighter green. Not too bad. Yeah, we'll uh, head down to that other field down there. Smaller one. That one shouldn't take too long. And uh, get this loaded up. Yeah, because I still want to get into the corn harvest. Because the uh, grain mill, I need to get some uh, fine corn flour made. running out of fine corn flour for the cornbread and I'm also thinking the uh, I need butter over there too so this right here will make me plenty of sugar holy cow let's grab that last little bit if I didn't just run it over leave one yep I did I cannot leave that one that will drive me absolutely bonkers all right here we go grab that last one that should do it for this field all right so go over here and unload and then we're gonna have to head over to the other field get that one unloaded Sixty-one thousand liters. Holy cow! That's a lot of beets. That is a lot of beets. All right, we'll get down here to this other field down here. Try to get this done rather quickly. Like right, I said, I got to get my corn harvest in too. Ditch right here. In the harvester here and start harvesting this up. This one isn't going to yield as good because I forgot to plow it. I don't think this one's going to do as good. But we'll give her a shot. Well, that's all finished up. I told them that the harvester is going to be at the end of the field. So We're gonna go ahead and we're head down here to the, the beet factory down here. And uh, the one that makes my sugar. And uh, we'll get her loaded in. I'm hoping they take all of them. 548,000 liters of beets. Yeah, that's enough beets for a while to make sugar. I'm just wondering what I'm gonna plant in those fields to, uh, hmm. Cause I doubt I'm gonna need beets for a while for sugar. Wow, that field yielded a lot. Holy cow. Oop. I need to slow down coming through town. Oh no, I ain't gonna need beets for a while. Oh boy. We got cheese and butter sitting out of here too. Holy cow. Oh. All I see is work down here. This is all I see. I am leaving now. I am heading back to the field to do the corn harvest. I'll see you all in a little bit. I kind of did a thing. Well, anyway, this is what I did. The They came and grabbed the beet harvester over there from the field and I told them, Bring me a little bit bigger header because I don't want to run out of time. Um, maybe my eyes were a little bit bigger than they should have been. Hopefully the combine can run the header because uh, it's a pretty good size header. And uh, I'm going to get this corn harvest started. Hopefully uh, 
I don't run into problems here. All right. Let's go in. Yeah, I just leased the header. So we'll give her a shot. We'll try her out. See what she does. Well, I think if my eyes were bigger than the combine. Because we're having a heck of a time with this bigger header. She doesn't want to crawl up hills too easy. So I'm going to leave her there, guys, for today. Um, when you see me again, we'll still be harvesting the corn. It's just I'll probably have to go back to the smaller header. I'm just trying to get this headland done. And then uh, I'll go call the dealership, tell them to come take this back, and I'll have to grab my smaller header. But yeah, she's having a heck of a time. Maybe three or four miles an hour. I just don't have enough power. So with that being said, have a good morning, afternoon, or evening, whenever you all are watching. Thank you again for watching Big T Farms in Alma, Missouri. Y'all have a good day, and I'll talk to you later.